What's up, everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today, man, I am super excited. So our wait is finally over. Lone Echo has finally been released into the wild, and I can finally talk about it. So I've been playing the game the last couple of days, and man, let me tell you, this game is nuts. I mean, the graphics, the acting, the 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 action. I mean, everything has just come together beautifully in this game to create one of the best narrative-driven VR titles I have played yet. So let's get in there and let's check out Lone Echo. Hera, open a new voice log entry. Acknowledged. Recording. Okay. This is Captain Liv Rhodes, personal log entry for 7 of October, 21, 26. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, I'll be leaving Saturn behind and making my way to my new assignment on Ceres. A bit odd, actually, saying it out loud. All mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are a bit lower than I'd like. Oh, we had some sputtering on the number 12 RCS thruster, but Jack and I managed. Oh, Jack. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged, Captain Rhodes. Morning, sunshine. Morning. And how are we feeling today? Fantastic. Jack, are you with me? Uh, yeah. Hera, let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. If you think that's right. wise. In you go, Jack. I'll see you in a few. Okay. Module D221, Manual Dexterity. I am Hera. Central AI for the Kronos 2 Orbital Mining Facility. I will guide you through this calibration program. First, close your hand to form a fist. Now okay. extend your index finger. You got it. Good. To proceed, use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. Now reach out and grab the glowing disc that just appeared. Uh, this disc right here? You mean the infamous Echo Arena disc? Yeah, absolutely. When you are ready, Throw the disc into the goal in front of you. He shoots. Target he hit. scores. Excellent throw. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Module M101. Basic motor functions. Please pull the handle above you to exit the activation pod. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. Okay, so, you know, one of the things I thought was just absolutely unique about this game is obviously the movement mechanic. I mean, the labor unit to proceed. there's so much debate Please on, you know, good ways to guide. move in VR. I mean, a lot of people are in the teleport camp. A lot of people like me are in the free movement camp. But anything set in space, I mean, this has really just kind of set the bar for how movement should be done. I mean, I know we've seen other, you know, titles use now, this type of movement at this point like the yes. mission ISS and actually if you go back in my videos you'll find a really old video of mine uh, back when I was doing some of the leap motion stuff called uh, Space Hiker Zero G Adventure and I think that was the first forward. time I ever saw something um, like this in a game and I mean back then even it blew me away. Calibration module complete. Module M205. Maneuvering thrusters. Your hands are equipped with maneuvering thrusters, allowing you to move more freely in zero gravity. 
Activate left thruster. Activate right thruster. Now please exit the activation pod and use your maneuvering thrusters to reach the door ahead. Okay. So thrusters can be used in short bursts or held down for I gotta say, I like the thrusters. They're a nice gentle thruster. It doesn't like push you forward very fast. Um, please press the hollow button near the door to proceed. Just glides you nice and gentle. The environment using only your maneuvering thrusters. Okay. Do not see. grab any surfaces during this test. See if I can do this this time. Last night I had a little trouble getting through here the first couple of times until I really kind of learned how to use my thrusters here. Oh, nope. There you go. Reboot initiated. Recalibrating thruster protocols. Try okay. again. I'll get it this time. Trying to go too fast. That debris. That's my foot. Get out of my way. Thruster calibration at 50%. Uh, can I do it? There we go. Calibration module Woo! complete. Module C-111. Communication. We will now calibrate your communication system. When someone speaks to you, a reply notification may appear above your wrist. Okay. You may then respond by holding down the dialogue button on either hand and selecting a reply with your index finger. Hold down the dialogue button now. Input confirmed. Now hold down the dialog button and select a reply. Understood. Good. Continuing calibration. Often you will have a limited time to select a reply. In these cases, silence is considered a viable option. Do you understand? Uh, yeah. Acknowledged. I'm ready to proceed. Understood. Continuing calibration. Now exit the activation pod and move into the room ahead. You can also initiate conversations at points of interest throughout the world. If you look at certain people or objects while you are close to them, their name will appear, and an icon will indicate that you can use the dialog button. You may then hold down the dialog button and select an option, just like a reply. Now start a conversation with the labor unit and speak about the Fury transport model in this room. Sure. You know, real, real quick though, I, I know it's a stupid little silly thing, but I love the way the hand grasps Please on and actually bends at the wrist like I'm actually like continue. pushing against this. So that's pretty cool. All right. Hey, buddy. Unit 42, what is your primary directive? To assure the safety and well-being of Kronos 2 station personnel. Who serves aboard the Kronos 2 station? Captain Olivia Rhodes and you, the prototype Series 11 android designated as Echo-1. A Mark 1 Fury transport, 148th scale. Be advised, while real Fury transports can be used to travel to distant locations across the Kronos 2 station, I do not recommend attempting to ride this one. Noted. And I gotta say, these models are super detailed. Calibrated. Would you like to proceed to the next module? Uh, yes, please. I'm ready to proceed. Acknowledged. Please stand by. Module A-131, Data Scanner. Error. Calibration program failure. Error. Stand by for reboot. Nah. -uh. The directors have been pushing to make fully automated deep space mine the company's still priority. Your echo unit is a perfect subject for our initial test runs. This is crap. I'm one week from leaving and you're just now telling me Jack's not coming. Not coming? Command wants the echo unit to assume your duties when you leave for series. Well, how long has Command known about this? Liv, I don't think... How long? Higher-ups have been discussing it for 
Might be six months. Six months? But the final decision didn't come down until late last week. No, forget it. This is unacceptable. Command's not really asking for your approval here. Tell Command to look at our numbers. Look at our harvest totals, purity levels. Our efficiency rating jumps three points every quarter. Yeah. Command wants to see numbers like that on Ceres? I need Jack with me. <sighs> Still calling him Jack, huh? Well, what else would I call him? Look, I get it. You've been working with that particular unit a while. Okay, I see where this is going. But it's a machine. It doesn't actually care about you. Whatever attachment you think you have with it isn't real. It's all just algorithms and subroutines. This is different. Jack is different. Yeah. Either way, it doesn't matter. Your orders stand. The Echo unit is to remain on the station. Understood? Just hear me out. Is that understood, Captain Rhodes? Understood. Kronos 2 out. Jack? What happened? Um... My calibration program crashed. I appear to be stuck in the activation pod. That's odd. Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed before. It must have suspended the pod's release procedures. In the event of activation pod failure, Titan Protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod, followed by a level 3 inspection of yeah, smack it. That's You're how I'd set. fix it. There Listen, we go. About my conversation with Command, how much did you overhear? I heard enough to know I'm no longer going with you to Ceres. Seems you earned yourself a promotion. The directors want you to take over my duties as station commander. You'll be in charge. That would make this our last week together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... They just... hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, Command splitting us up, I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Well, I don't like it. Except... I'm sorry, Jack. There's no need to apologize, Olivia. While the situation is... Unfortunate. It's not your fault. Come on, then. No sense putting it off. Let's get our last week started. Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? Copy that. Okay. But before I do that, I gotta talk a little bit about you, Olivia. So, man, you know, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna get back to gameplay, but I gotta geek out on this for a minute. You know, the character model of Olivia is blowing my mind. I mean, it's it's almost like some uncanny valley shit going on here. Because every time I talk to her and she's like really up close in my face, I, I get a little presence. And and it's, it's almost like I feel like I'm talking to a person instead of a computer-generated AI. It, it, I don't know. It, I know. It's kind of stupid. But, you know, it is what it is. And I mean, the... Detail level on her is absolutely yes, insane. Jack. And the fact that she'll brush your arm off, I think that's great. Jack, you're blocking my view. <laughs> do you mind? No, I do mind. My face is not a handle, Jack. But it is. Jack, please. All you right. may be laughing, but it's not funny. All right. And see, like, just like interactions like that are, are absolutely just stunning in VR. I mean, it just adds realism to the character. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. Finished geeking out. Let's get back to some gameplay here. So what do we got here? The swear monkey. Your swear count has not increased for nearly 10 hours. Congratulations. Oh, quit playing with that damn thing. Oh. I mean, shit. Hey, watch your mouth there, lady. 
you're gonna break the monkey here. So, you know, another thing I gotta say is it, these environments are incredibly detailed and there is a ton of stuff to play with in here. I think the only thing that bothers me about this is, as you see, that's about as low as I can go and I'm like in the floor. So I don't know if, you know, they need to go back and redo the collision on the floors. I mean, I understand I'm supposed to be kind of like, you know, laid out, but even laid out, this seems like it would be, ah, let me get down here. This seems like it would be a little, I mean, I guess that would be like my belly's on the floor. I don't know, but it just, it's not that good of a feeling in VR. So developers, you might want to take a look at that and don't let me sink down to the floor as much. But, you know, in here, tons of stuff to play with. I, mean, I should activate the bridge. Just tons of stuff. Yeah, I know I should activate the bridge, but there's so much to play with in here. So, all right, I'll get on with it. As soon as I take this Echo Arena disc, let's see if I can bean her with it. She's not going to like this if I do. Oh, too high. Okay, fine. Enough playtime. So, you know, I'm going to leave it to you guys who actually play the game to kind of explore these environments and find all the little fun stuff. And we're just going to go ahead and get on with it. But, I mean, you can see there's just tons of stuff to play with in here. So, okay. Oh, yeah, raise that blast shield. Let's go up here and get a good look at this. really going to miss this part. This is so cool. In a bit. Just give me a moment to The depth out view. there looks great. Take, Take your time. You seem upset. You're getting way too good at reading human responses. I am definitely like enjoying the view. Well, I have had a few years of practice. Yeah, it shows. Command splitting us up. It, it bothers you. I just thought you'd be coming with me, is all. No assignment is ever permanent. I would think you'd know that better than anyone. Well, that's certainly true. It is entirely possible that we will work together again sometime in the future. Maybe. Here's hoping. Let's get started on that checklist. You sure? There's no rush. It is our last week, after all. Well, I gotta fit this into a short video, lady, so we probably need to get on with the checklist here, so... Yes, I'm sure. We should try to maintain our schedule. Suit yourself? All work and no play? What was that? Nothing. You wanna play? So, Jack. I can slap I you around a little bit more. Congratulations are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. In a few days you'll be Captain Jack. Captain Jack? So, congratulations, Captain Jack. What I mean is, as an Echo Unit, I hold no official rank. So, technically, I can't be promoted. Right. Well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? Oh, I am going to miss you. I have no... What? What was that? Yeah, what was that? Jack, did you feel that? What the hell? Something ain't right, girl. P please tell me you can see that. Yeah, I can see it. Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. Whoa! Uh, yeah. I believe so. You were glitching out. The disturbance briefly disrupted my internal systems, but I'm not reading any permanent damage. 
Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll investigate. Hera, initiate broad spectrum scan. Focus on the following coordinates. I mean, you can really get to moving in here. Ah. Let's forget I've got thrusters. Hera, status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Acknowledge. That is so Isolate. cool. Awaiting input. Something about holographic interfaces in VR always gets me. This is great. Saturn Orbital Zone Beta. Orbital Mining Facility. Designation, Kronos 2. Central Mining Station. Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. Yeah, Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, that's it? That's all we've got to go on? Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait. We lost the CubeSats? How the hell did we... Uh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Okay. Oh, you little bugger. Ah, here we are. Toss it over. Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this CubeSat? Sure can. I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. Module A-131, Data Scanner. Yeah, I gotta say, I think it's interesting that they put parts of the tutorial farther into the game. Please exit the pod to begin calibrating it. Okay. Please follow me to the disk spawner at the back of the room. Now activate your scanner by pressing the button on top of your hand. Both of your hands have this functionality. Good. Now aim the scanner at the I.O. port on the disk spawner and hold the trigger to initiate a scan. Please scan the I.O. port to continue. Excellent. Use the button on top of your hand to deactivate the scanner now. Good. To complete this module, gather scan data on five other materials or objects. Four scans remaining. Got the Echo Arena disc here. Ooh, Initiating scan here. human sarcasm. I thought we were friends, Echo One. Uh, yeah. Three scans remaining. Reality terrain, part of Echo model calibration program. Okay, so it knows that we are in. You a must scan VR. additional objects or materials to complete this calibration module. Two scans remaining. Android activation pod. One scan remaining. Virtual construct disk spawner. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. All set? Scanner fully calibrated. Yep, bring it over. Well, let me have it. Heads up. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, 
Something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh well, problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Oh great. Sounds like fun. That of sounds just terrific. Be. I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective okay. received. Right then, on to the real problems. What do you think? What's next? Hera, status update on your scan of the anomaly. Scan currently 3% complete. 3%? What's the problem? The sensor network is attempting to perform a full spectrum scan of an unknown entity. It might take a while. Lovely. Well, in the meantime, we've got three tier one malfunctions that need our attention. What do you say we get started on those repairs? Good idea. I'll need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of oh, course. sure I can. So, okay. Now, I think we're going to go ahead and cap the video here. And, and I'll tell you why. Because this is about as far as I uh, got last night. Uh, I did do a little short play of it last night. Uh, just to kind of yeah get my space legs so to speak and you know I want you guys to I don't want to give away too much of the game I mean, I don't want to give away too much of the story. I want you guys to experience this for yourself But rest assured I will be doing more videos of this uh, as I play through uh, so you know if you are Unfortunately in the position where you don't have an oculus rift or HTC Vive I think you can revive this then I'm going to try to give you guys a little more taste. I may even try to go ahead and do an SBS side-by-side uh, -side video of this for you guys with the uh, Google Cardboards and other playback devices because you have got to see this. But man, let me tell you, if you have an Oculus Rift, if you have an HTC Vive, you owe it to yourself to get a copy of Lone Echo. Uh, I, I mean, this is absolutely nuts. There was a bunch of hype over the last couple of weeks for Echo Arena, which I unfortunately never got a chance to try during the beta, but you can bet your bottom dollar I am going to be checking that out as well. But th this is amazing. I mean, this is this is the game so far that I've been looking for. I mean, just detailed, rich environments, beautiful graphics, awesome 3D sound. A great storyline, you know, building as we play. So highly, highly recommend this one. And I'm going to throw a link for it down in the description. So if you want, head over to the Oculus Store and grab a copy of this for yourself. I do not think you'll be disappointed. But for me tonight, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. This is VR Gamer Dude. Signing off, y'all. Peace.